may not be the deck. No, oh, it's the deck I want. All right. What's up, guys? How how was your Sunday? I know y'all aren't really used to seeing me on Sunday, but here we are. And you know, to be honest, to be honest, I have been kind of considering moving my Monday nights back to Sunday, but I don't know because technically this is my Saturday night. <sighs> so I don't quite know what I want to do yet. So we'll figure it out anyway. But we're going to start off with Zodiac Reads for the week. Then we're going to move to a full Reiki session about 8 o'clock. And then after that, I'm going to be doing some Norse card readings. Um, I realized that I hadn't read with these fantastic babies in a hot minute. And I was like, man, literally since November. Do you know the last time I read for you guys with these cards? It was November 11th. 11-11. I shit you not. Because I was like, no, I've read with them since. No, I haven't. No, I haven't. So expect them to probably be extra spicy because they. this is not a deck that likes being in the box. It just it just doesn't. So for those of you guys that had reads for earlier today at 2, y'all will be first. There was only three of you. Y'all will be first. Um, I, I had to go spend some time with Brody and the fam. So anyway, so we're going to jump right the fuck into it. And just like last week, I will make sure that I download this, chop it all up so you guys can watch your Zodiac reads for the week. Um, yeah. Yeah. All right. We're going to start with Capricorn. Go all the way around. And I'm going to go ahead and say, oh, 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 Capricorns. Mm -mm. I'm going to go ahead and say right now. Because the Trolley McTrollersons have been getting pretty uh, hot and heavy. Spicy McSpicersons. Uh, there's no tolerance in my lives. First of all, I'm going to finish what I'm saying and then we're going to talk about this. There's no tolerance in here. So if you want to be a dick, just move on. Uh, if you feel like you need to spout some stuff or be an ass, just know you're going to get muted or blocked. Um, my mods have no tolerance. Everyone here has no tolerance. I don't know about y'all, but... Uh, I've had my fill of people, I think repeatedly yesterday and today, I said, I hate people multiple times and I don't like feeling that way. I don't like feeling that way, but that's, <sighs> yeah, it's always one. You know what I mean? It's always one. It just is. Um, and for those of you guys that are asking like, Hey, wait, why are you not? Why is this today? I have family things to take care of tomorrow, um, so we're doing everything today. All right, Capricorns, we need to chat before I ever turn these cards over because as I was drawing your cards, the cards came out really quick for y'all this week, Caps, but I want you to notice this, okay? When I pulled your last card out, there's a lot here. There's a lot here. That's a lot of cards right there ready to come out, Caps. So that tells me that this may almost be an overwhelming week for you, okay? We ready, Capricorns? I mean, the answer is yes, so. Oh, okay. So it's not gonna be an overwhelming week for you. This is a reset week for you, Capricorns. Last week, don't, am I wrong in that y'all had one of those weeks of getting back to you, getting back to the Capricorn center of the universe? Am I, am I wrong in thinking that for some reason? I feel like that was a thing. I'm a Capricorn. I should remember, but I don't. I digress. So, Caps, y'all start off with the caretaker of the lost. Now, with these other two cards here, I am not worried about any of you Capricorns taking on a pet project with somebody or trying to fix this person or fix that person. Instead, Capricorns, this is you. This is you. I'm going to make this statement right now, um, and this actually applies to really any of the four cardinal zodiacs, okay? So Capricorn, Aries, Cancer, Libra. This applies to all four of you, okay? When a cardinal sign has to take a reset week, week, watch your ass when they come back off of this reset week. And here's why I say this is a reset week for the Capricorns. This is the caretaker of the lost. Capricorn, you've been a little lost lately. You've been feeling like either the world is passing you by, you're not in the world, you've been so disconnected, you can't see straight, whatever the fuck it is. Guess what, Caps? This is the empty well card. It's time to replenish. I don't like being called on my fucking bullshit. Thanks, cards. I know y'all don't either. Nobody likes being called on their own bullshit. But Capricorns, I know damn well that you guys have been going balls to the wall, every single ball, not just yours, all of them to the fucking wall, 
not gonna stop doesn't matter i know for myself i was kind of sick the last couple of weeks still hit it really hard but caps guess what guess what this is your week to reset what's even better about this is on the 30th so friday it is a it is the half the half moon words are not my friend Anyway, this is a time of reflection. This whole week is a time of reflection, looking at what is and isn't working. Apparently, Capricorns, your self-care routine is not working because this is the empty well card. This is a week, Caps, where you're going to feel kind of pulling into yourself, maybe circling the wagons a little bit. So if y'all have a Capricorn in your life, know that they're going to be doing their thing this week. If they take some time out to do stuff for them, um, they are not going to apologize and they're not going to tell you when, what, where, why. So just know it's not a you thing. It's a Capricorn thing. Capricorns need to knuckle down and take care of themselves. Apparently, y'all have been taking care of everybody for way too long. And uh, now now you, your energy is in the gutter. But here's the thing. You remember when I pointed out all of those cards and how there was a ton of them wanting to come out with the last card? These two cards right here, Caps, are all about you getting back to you. You taking care of you. Last week, it was energetically, emotionally. This week, it's physically and probably energetically as well. But here's the thing, Caps. This weekend, this is the universe is your partner. I knew I should have looked at all those cards that were trying to come up with this, but I didn't want to spoil it. The universe is your partner, Caps. Guess what? You want to know what? This also just hit me too. So Saturday is the second. So I can't remember exactly what it is. I'm pretty sure that it's Jupiter goes into trine with Pluto. And when that happens, there are a lot of rare occurrences, rare opportunities that are going to fall right in your lap, Capricorn. So this is a week, Caps, that you need to take a reset. You need to chill. You need to relax. You need to whatever you do with your Capricorn self to relax. This is the week to do it, Caps. Okay. Because this weekend is going to be all about amazing opportunities. The universe is just showing you bam, 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 bam. Everything that's been going on, what you've been manifesting, etc. So Caps, this weekend, uh, there's, there's, you can't unring the bell. I heard that in a show and I was like, oh man, I forgot about that saying. Yeah, Caps, you can't unring the bell. So keep in mind that whatever comes to you this weekend, you can't undo that thing. Okay? Okay? This is a 100% let's move forward and not look back kind of weekend. Got it, Caps? So stones for fucking Capricorns. Uh, for this week early, I'm going to say rose quartz because you guys fucking need it. You need to be replenishing yourself, etc. And for the weekend, I'm going to say malachite. And those two actually pair really well together. They look really pretty together. But malachite, if you don't have malachite, Caps, um, Why? Why don't you have Malachite, Capricorn? You're a fucking Capricorn. You're a workaholic. You're all about the Benjamins. Why do you not have fucking Malachite? I digress. Hot rod for emphasis. Aquarius. Ooh, Aquarius was kind of right on it. Let's see. Let's see how the Aquarius week is going to go. Obviously, pretty straightforward. Okay. All right, Aquarius. Oh. All right, Aquarius, you start off with the Golden Empress. Like, best card in the deck, in my opinion, because this is all about magnetism, poise, confidence, just all of the things that I know you Aquarius sisters have been kind of lacking a little bit. Excuse Hot Rod Harry out there. All of the things that you Aquarius have been lacking, where you feel like things have been running away from you, the universe has been removing stuff from you, you can't seem to get anywhere, you take a step forward and you're knocked back 10 steps, whatever it is Aquarius, not this week, not this week. In fact, this week, you are drawing so much shit to you that it's not even funny. So again, just like with the Capricorns, I find this very interesting that this week, 
this week, Aquarius, you are all about pulling in all of the amazing stuff to you because Saturday or Sunday, excuse me, the second is all about bringing in rare opportunities. Now there is a problem. There is a problem because when this card pops up, I want you guys to remember this is not just all of the good being drawn to you. This is everything being drawn to you. So good, bad, and in between the good, the bad, and the ugly, all is going to get drawn to you. Capricorns, Aquarius, words, I am so sorry, Aquarius, that I called you a Capricorn. Please don't hate me. My words are not my friends today. And look, even my little mermaid was like, oh. Anyway, Aquarius, the good, the bad, and the ugly is all coming your way today. And that brings this, this week, excuse me. This is the rise above the fray card. So even though you're bringing all of this amazing shit to yourself, this confidence, this poise, all of the people, all of the things, all the opportunities, you're also bringing the drama. You also have people pulling the drama behind them, like the little pull toy when you were a kid, the little duck, pop, 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 pop. Yeah, they're going to be bringing all of this fucking stupid shit right in your path, Aquarius. You cannot react. You cannot bite. You cannot say anything back. And I know, I know damn well, some of you Aquariuses are like, mm, 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 mm. but here's the thing I know about you Aquariuses as well. Y'all don't do drama very well. You don't. That's one thing. This is why I get along really well with Aquariuses. Even the times that my sister and I didn't get along when we were younger, that is one thing we always agreed on. Drama was not a thing. Drama was not a thing. So Aquariuses, y'all tend to walk away from drama anyway. But the fact that this card had to come up with this card tells me that this, this might be a little bit of an overwhelming thing. Now, Here's what I'm going to say before I show you this next card and we talk about it. Okay, Aquarius? Because when I see that this Rise Above the Fray card has popped up, what it tells me is that you are going to have to be the bigger person. You are going to have to turn the other cheek. You are going to have to just kind of walk away and you're going to have to let someone say all the bullshit. Now, I'm going to tell you something and I'm going to show you something that you can do, okay? Especially if this is in a work setting, if this is where other people are around or et cetera, okay? First of all, this is the Greystone method, and this is how you deal with an abusive personality that's around you. One of those people that all they want to do is argue. You give them the shortest answer possible. Usually, yes, no, okay. Yes, no, okay. Now, these people usually love to trigger shit in you and make you want to react to them. So internally, you're going to have to uh, make sure that you don't react or put it in a notepad in your phone, like voice text everything you want to say to that motherfucker. But... Don't send it. Yes, no, okay. All right, that's it. It's all you need to respond to them. Now, if you are in a work setting or in a place where there's a lot of people around you or so on, and if you happen to be sitting down, I'm gonna show you how to do this sitting down. I'm gonna show you how to do it standing up, okay? You know how it is when you have somebody that you say something and either they need to one-up you, they need to cut you down, they need to prove how you're wrong and they're right. Here's some body language that will help you look like the bigger person and them look like the nutsack that they are. You ready? So all you have to do if you're sitting down, simply just temple your hands. That's it. You can sit back like this. Just kind of temple your hands a little bit. That's all you got to do. Either like this or kind of like this. Don't do the full praying hands, but like this. Okay? This is better because it's not as like you don't look like a dick as much like this. Just like this. That's it. Okay? One, this provides some shielding from that person. And two, this helps you to channel your energy. So as soon as they're done with the negative bullshit, before you let your hands go, kind of do this a little bit and then let it go. But, the, but you just sit there and you just smile and you just kind of look at them and you just sit there and you just sit there and you let them go. Now, if you're standing up, you can do that as well. Just stand and put your hands like this. You can also do the sitting down. Put your hands like this with the finger pointed out like that. That's it. And it's going to be all you can do not to bite, Aquarius. It's going to be all you can do not to say, look here, motherfucker. And in your head, repeatedly, you might say, look here, motherfucker, or hold several mental funerals, whatever you need to do. But Aquarius, the reason I'm telling you all of this, the reason I'm telling you this is because the last card you have is the obstacle card. Even though you are fucking magnetic this week, Aquarius, even though you are bringing everything to you, 
there is a lot of stuff that is going to be brought your way that is going to be an obstacle. It's going to look like something that is holding you back, okay? Now, when these obstacles pop up and you're really upset about it, here's what I want you to remember, Aquarius. Now, this takes some brain training, okay? This is for all of you guys. When you have a time when you have obstacle after obstacle after obstacle that pops up, keep in mind that it may not be time yet. It may not be time yet. Okay? I want you to keep that in mind. Just because something doesn't happen this week doesn't mean it won't happen next week or the week after or two months down the road or whatever. Okay? I promise as you go on your spiritual journey, I know I'm spending a lot of time on Aquarius, but I feel like y'all are going to need it because I feel like this magnetism is going to give you guys some amazing confidence that you need, but I feel like this card right here is going to shoot you down, okay? Don't let it shoot you down, Aquarius, because just, just roll with it, okay? When these people are attacking you with the drama, I want you to hear me in your head, okay? Just let them say what the fuck they feel they need to say. You don't have to respond. Okay? You don't have to respond. Stones for Aquarius. All the black stones. All the black stones. I don't, I'm not going to give you a particular black stones, black stone, because I want you guys to pick from your own repertoire of stones. Whatever you feel you need, it may change on a moment to moment basis. All the black stones, Aquarius. And if you have hematite, that one can be thrown in there as well. Okay? All the black stones, Aquarius. I have faith in you, Aquarius. I know you can do this. Okay? I know you can do this. Before I move on to Pisces, I just, because for some reason, I feel like I need to tell y'all this really quickly. And I just want you to listen. Okay? I listen to a Shaolin monk. Um, Y'all have probably heard me talk about him if you have followed me for any length of time. Master Shi Peng Yi. And I hope I'm saying that right. I'm probably not because my Oklahoman doesn't like Asian names even though they're beautiful. But he tells a story about um, one of the monks that was speaking about somebody saying, oh, right timing, right timing, right timing. Okay? And he in this story, he talks about a gentleman whose son is supposed to get drafted and go to war, okay? So, before the soldiers come to get the son to take him to war, the son is on a horse riding this horse. He falls and he breaks his leg. So, all the people around, when he can't go to war, say, oh, that's a great thing. That's a great thing. And he just says, maybe, the horse runs away because, of course, now nobody is taking care of him. And everybody says, oh, my God, that's a terrible thing. It's a terrible thing. And he says, maybe. Well, the horse comes back a couple days later with several horses. And they all go into this man's corral. And suddenly he has five horses instead of one. And everybody says, oh, my God, that's a great thing. And he says, maybe. After taking care of all the horses with the son with the broken leg... I know I'm telling the story all fucked up a little bit. Y'all get the point. But he's taking care of all of the things with the broken leg and so on. And everybody comes to him and they want something from him because he has all of these amazing horses. He has all of these things. He has a son at home to help him. All you got to do is look at everything that's going on in your life. I completely fucked that story up, so it is what it is. Forgive me. All you got to do is look at everything going on in your life right now. It doesn't matter how bad it is. It doesn't matter how good it is. There's a good and a bad behind everything. So Aquarius, this is especially for you. I don't know why I feel like you're going to need it so bad this week, but I want you to look back at a time in your life where you hoped and prayed and put every manifestation out into the universe that you wanted something so fucking bad and you didn't get it. And then on down the road, you realize, dude, if I had gotten that thing, I wouldn't be where I am now. I want you to think about this week, Aquarius, okay? Think about it this week, Aquarius, because it's going to come up re-fucking-peatedly, okay? Repeatedly. 
Thank you, thank you, Miss Emma. I appreciate that. I, I'm just gonna say, I know that every one of you can look back, Pisces, this is a lot of cards, can look back, Pisces, I'm trying to draw you a card, you don't have to throw things. We're gonna leave that card over there, we're gonna draw the other card. Every single one of you can look back at a time in your life where you thought that thing right there was the most important thing ever. That person, that job, that trip, that situation, that dress, that car, whatever it was. It was the most important thing in your life, period. And you didn't get it. And you were heartbroken. It fucking sucked, right? But now I want you to look back. If you had had that thing, where would you be? Good or bad, where would you be? Because I can look back at my own life and think, man, you know, if I could have done this differently, maybe, you know, I'd still have X, Y, Z or whatever. Um, but I wouldn't want to. I fully understand at this point in my life, 100% understand why people say that if they could go back and do it again, they wouldn't. They would do it the exact same way. I would too. I would too. Maybe I might have invested a little in a couple of stocks, especially esports stocks, but you see what I'm saying, okay? You see what I'm saying? All right, Pisces, are we ready? Pisces are like, bitch, just give us our card. <sighs> okay. Pisces, y'all start off with Thanatos, which is completion and support and expediency. There, This is a double-edged sword week for you, Pisces, because... There's a lot of intense interchanges that are going on with you that have over the last couple weeks, but they're coming to a head this weekend, this week. These are all things where you are seeing situations, jobs, relationships, etc., in your life suddenly coming to an end. The ones that have played out, they have ran their course, they have played their part, okay? So a lot of you Pisces are going to see where you're going to walk away from jobs, from friendships, from relationships, from situations this week. And people are going to go, finally, what took you so long? Let me say this to any of you watching. Don't say that to someone. What took you so long? That person needed to go through exactly what they needed to go through to make the decision that they made when they made the decision. It is not your path. It is not your life. It is not your decision to make. The only person that can make decisions for you is you. Okay? So when someone does something and you want to go, God, what took you so long? Don't say that to them. Okay? Tell them congratulations. Ask what you can do to help them. Okay? Okay? That's going to be a little bit for you this week, Pisces. There are some things that you are walking away from, Pisces. And I say that because this is the vanishing mirror card. This is you letting go of some things that you were holding on to like a badge of honor, Pisces. Y'all are the emotional of the zodiac signs, okay? Y'all feel everything super mega deep. And you guys are the ones that try to calm the chaos of everything and everyone. I want you to remember this all week, Pisces. There's a lot of times that we hold on to things like a badge of honor, okay? I am this, I am this, I am this. I survived this and we make it, that's what we're all about. Pisces, that's not what you're all about. You're all about you and your path, Pisces. Fuck everyone else, okay? I want you to remember that. Fuck everyone else. You take care of you. You take care of your people. You take care of the people that deserve your amazing love and energy, Pisces. Do not waste your time on those motherfuckers that don't deserve it. Okay? Don't waste your fucking time. This is the transpersonal card, Pisces. The reason I said you don't need to waste your time is because karma is already watching them. Karma is already watching them. 
Don't waste your time. Don't waste one second thinking about that motherfucker. Don't waste one second wishing that this situation would change. Don't spend one second wishing and hoping and doing something else for whoever, whatever this is back here. They don't deserve your time or your effort, Pisces. Instead, what they deserve is for you to sit back with some popcorn and just watch. Okay? Now, the other thing I want you to remember is this, Pisces. Sometimes the universe builds people up to yank the rug out in a horrendous manner. So if you are walking away from a situation, Pisces, and you're watching that motherfucker you just broke up with or that boss that's so horrible or whatever, you're watching those people suddenly seem to do better and everybody go, oh, I knew so-and-so was bad for you. In your mind, just flip them the bird and go on because here's the thing, that is the universe building that fucker up so it can yank the rug out from underneath it. Okay? I want you to remember that, Pisces. And here's why I say that because normally I wouldn't read these cards this way. But remember earlier when I was griping at you that you threw a card at me and I was trying to draw this one? This is the Mother of Dawn card and y'all threw it at me, okay? This is beauty and agency and compassion. And normally I would have not, I would have put this card back in the deck, but the way it came out, it bounced off my thumbnail and landed on my other phone. I knew it was important and it is Pisces. Pisces, you need to show that fucker on the other end of this situation that you have compassion. Now, they're going to take it as weakness. Let them. Let them. Let them take your kindness as weakness, Pisces, because we all know better. If y'all have never seen an angry Pisces, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Pisces. Be the bigger person, turn the other cheek, and get your popcorn out, okay? Stones for my sweet little Pisces friends. Um, I'm going to say Tiger's Eye. Tiger's Eye is protective. It also brings a lot of luck. Um, I'm also going to say Snowflake Obsidian. Regular Obsidian will work, but Snowflake Obsidian if you got it, Okay. Interesting weeks, interesting weeks. Okay, where's where's my Aries gang at? Hmm? Where's my Aries gang at? Y'all watch me shuffle, yeah? Yeah, y'all watch me shuffle. Aries. Aries, Aries, Aries. Y'all watch me shuffle, right? This is why this is why I like doing this like this so y'all can watch me shuffle. Um, Aries were very firm with their cards, just like the Capricorns, and then just like the Capricorns, it took me forever to get that last card. These two cards fell out right side up where I could see them, so I already know what they are. Not this one, though. This one's upside down. We're going to leave it upside down for just a minute. Um, the reason that I pointed out specifically that y'all saw me shuffle is because Aries, y'all also have the caretaker of the lost card, just like the Capricorns. And if you guys watched the Capricorn reading, then you know that I mentioned all four cardinal signs and how this was going to be a specifically interesting week for those signs. So I find it really funny that this card came out for the Aries as well. So when it comes to the cardinal signs, Aries and Capricorn are very similar. And then I'll do my best Spock there. Uh, Cancer and Libra are very similar. So I find it really interesting that this card popped out for Aries. Aries, this tells me that this also is a week where you need to focus on you. Not quite to the level that the Capricorns do, but you need to focus on your shit, Aries. No one else's shit. Okay, listen, 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 listen. <laughs> now, here's the thing, Aries. 
I know that the vast majority of the time, y'all do focus on your own shit. I know you do, okay? That's okay. You should. It's your prerogative. However, here lately, apparently you've been focusing on everybody else's shit. And by focusing on everybody else's shit, I mean that you've been manifesting for everyone else but you, Aquarius. For some reason, you have kind of fallen off of your manifestations a little bit, and you've been doing it for everybody else. Not this week. Not this week, Aries. I swear, if y'all start manifesting for other people this week, I will come get you. <laughs> Not really. I mean, maybe. Because this is the net caster card. This is plans coming to fruition, Aries. Whatever you put your energy into this week, that's what will happen. So if you're manifesting for other people, guess what? They're gonna get what they're gonna get what you're manifesting. Don't do it. Don't do it. You need to be manifesting for you, Aries. Period. I'm dying to see this card. Are y'all dying to see this card? Of course. This is the whale song and the resonating card. Imagine that. Imagine that, Aries. Imagine that. Every little thing that this is this is what this card tells me. Every little thing is gonna have meaning to you this week. You're gonna see some weird bird. You're gonna see some number. You're gonna see this car and this color passing by. You're gonna see somebody that looks like your grandpa or your grandma or whoever. Every little thing, Aries, this week is going to just pop out in front of you. Every little thing is going to resonate with you and you're going to feel crazy. You're going to feel like you have no idea what's going on in the world and why everything is resonating, but it needs to. It needs to, Aries, okay? Do not be manifesting for anybody but you this week, Aries. See, he agrees. Take care of you. Take care of of you manifest for you i'm just gonna be short and sweet with it aries um stones for aries lapis lapis y'all need to get back to that royal we y'all need to get back to that what's wrong with you aries lapis um i'm also gonna say clear quartz because you want to amplify all of this shit you want to amplify all of these manifestations, all of the things coming to you. You want to amplify it. Lapis and clear quartz. Whew. All right. You know, I was sitting here thinking while I was reading for Aries. There's something that I know, Taurus, no, we're not doing two anchor cards. There's something, thank you, that I used to say all the time that I haven't said in a while, and I feel like it bears repeating, and this is where I say, I don't know who needs to hear this, but it's me, I need to hear this. But I'm sure that some of you guys need to hear this too, okay? You know, when you go on a flight and they say, you know, if the pressure drops, the masks will drop and blah, blah, blah. And then they say to secure your own mask because you can't help anybody if you're passed out. That's exactly what this week seems to, seems to be doing. Aries, Capricorn, Pisces, Aquarius, Taurus, Cancer, all of you. Have you guys noticed that all of us have spent a lot of time lately taking care of everybody else but ourselves? Have you noticed that? Have you noticed that? Have you noticed that you've been taking care of everybody? In fact, you've been taking care of people that you don't normally take care of? You notice that? Y'all spend some time taking care of you this week. Take care of you this week. Okay. All right. Taurus, this is. We ready? Okay. Taurus, you're in a holding pattern this week. And I know that as soon as I said that, you guys were like, nope, I'm scrolling. <laughs> Taurus, you're in a holding pattern this week. 
You and the Aquarius are a little similar this week. I'm going to tell you why, okay? First of all, you guys start off with the Poet of Avalon. This is fame and stagnation and pride. And we're going to talk about the stagnation aspect here because that's what it's going to feel like this week. It's not. That's what it's going to feel like, okay? You're going to feel like this week every little thing has a stopper in front of it. Every little thing has a brick wall, a concrete door, whatever the fuck it is, there is something standing in your way. So you know those days when you go outside and you're, you know, you're headed to work or whatever, you drop your keys five times, you forgot something in the house, you got to go back in and get it, you get out to your car, you realize you don't have any gas, you're already late to work, but you got to stop and blah, blah, blah. You know those days where it feels like every little thing is just you're clawing, trying to get to where you're supposed to get? That's how this week is going to feel, Taurus, okay? I want you, to, I want, just keep it in mind, and I want you to just kind of roll with it, okay? It's not stagnation. It's actually a guest station, period, Taurus. So every time there's a setback this week, every time you have to stop five times, you have to go back in the house twice, whatever it is, every little setback this week, Taurus, I just want you to look at what's going on, what the setback is is what is the setback i want you to look at that because when we're in a situation and something pauses us especially earth signs no ma'am earth signs if they're ready to do something if they want to move forward they don't want shit to stop them they are doing the thing tauruses especially they're going to bullheadedly push right through whatever that is not this week, Taurus, okay? I know that that goes against everything in your little bull bodies, but not this week. And I want you to remember why, okay? I want you to remember why. What is a guest station period? I want you to really think about that, Taurus. What is a guest station period? When you see a butterfly or a, a caterpillar that's gone into a chrysalis, that's a guest station period. A little pregnant lady with her cute little belly and the little baby in there that's a gestation period it is a birth it is a rebirth it is a growth okay you have to pause for a minute so you can fully absorb everything around you okay Taurus so every time there's a setback this week Taurus I want you to look at what is the setback what's going on around you just stop and look around for a moment you can be frustrated all you want look around in frustration Okay, because this is also the obstacle card. So just like the Aquarius this week, and I find it interesting that y'all are the fixed sign directly after Capricorn and directly after Aries, and both the Capricorn and the Aries readings were very similar, but yet here you are, the Aquarius and the Taurus, and both of those are, I mean, I don't believe in coincidences. Do y'all? I don't believe in coincidences. You shouldn't either. That's the answer. This is the obstacle card, Taurus. There are going to be things that are holding you back on purpose this week. Let it hold you back. Let it hold you back. It's okay. Gestation periods are fantastic. Because when you emerge victorious from that chrysalis, you can fly over these obstacles, Taurus. Okay? Stones for Taurus. Hmm. I'm going to say lab, and I'm also going to say charite. Now, if you don't have charite, you need something to protect your aura. If you don't have charite, Let's go with Tiger's Eye. Okay? Labradorite and Charite or Tiger's Eye. Okay? So, tomorrow... There's going to be kind of an impromptu live tomorrow evening. It'll just be probably me and Brody... Um, I don't know if Allie will get on or whatever. We're not going to be on for very long tomorrow, but just so 
y'all can kind of give him some well wishes and, and so on before he leaves on Tuesday. Um, I, I messaged him a while ago because we, we went and ate lunch or late lunch, whatever. Um, and yeah, my belly is still full from that, but I realized it, like it finally started to hit me that he's actually going to be leaving on Tuesday morning. And I caught myself tearing up a little bit, but then I realized like I wasn't as worried about him as I was when he left in 2020. Um, so the Capricorn read, that's what cracked me up is the Capricorn read was uh, really, really a little too accurate for me and I don't like it. Um, but I want you guys, for especially for those of you guys that have kids, for those of you guys that have older kids, etc. It does suck that they're not babies anymore. It does suck. Don't think it doesn't, okay? Because you miss when they were little bitty, when they were five and they were curled up on your lap and so on. But the thing that I've realized is this, and I, my dad said it one time, a long time ago. Well, I say a long time ago, like 30 years ago when I was graduating high school. Um, my dad said, made a comment about how um, he always loved to see how his kids were coming out as adults because that's a direct reflection on you as a parent, right? Vlad is climbing in my lap and it hurts. That's why I flinched because he just dug his, he just dug his 90 nails into my freaking leg. Um, but the thing that I realize the most is I'm kind of excited that my kids are, are older, that my kids are adults, that they're becoming good people. Like, Kay will be going to college this fall. I'm really excited of who my kids are and who they're becoming. So even though it sucks when you realize your kids are getting older, and even though it sucks when you realize they're about to leave home and so on and so forth, I want you to remember how you felt when you were 18, 19, 20, whatever, when you left home. I want you to remember how excited you were to start the next phase of your life. I want you to remember how amazing everything was, how big the world seemed to you whenever you were that age. Am I happy he's leaving? No. Am I a little scared? Yeah. Am I gonna do all the witchy protection shit while he's gone? Yeah. But I'm still excited for him. I'm still excited for him. I don't know what is up with this cat. This cat is broken. <laughs> Are you broken? That was a cute little chirp. Hey, Vlad. Are you broken? Because I kind of think you're broken. He's a mess and a half. He's a mess and a half. I need to put you down. Because I need to, I need to read for, for the Geminis. Yeah, I need to read for the Geminis. Can I do that? We'll schedule, you know what? Thursday night might be a good night to schedule Vlad reads. Yeah, it might be a good night to schedule Vladimir. Vlad the Impaler. Vladimir Frederick Kruger. <laughs> That's what we decided to name him. Because, I mean, he's got tons of, tons of knives for hands. Yeah, he's a fucking mess. He's a fucking mess. All right, buddy. He's broken. Can y'all hear him purring? He's not purring super loud right now. Yeah. He, um, yeah. Yeah. All right. Ready? Gemini, you just get, you get kitty cat read. Okay. Ooh, Gemini. Y'all start off with the traveler. This is the keeper of the crossroads. This is restlessness and independence and appraisal. And what I think is hilarious is that we are moving into the quarter moon energy this week. The half moon energy, which is all about appraisal. I knew that was going to happen. And looking at everything going on in your life. 
Gemini, we are full into Gemini season and there's a lot of stuff going on. So guess what? You're gonna be all about looking at everything in your life. Don't be surprised if you have a Gemini in your life, if this week they look around and they're like, you know what, I don't, I don't like any of this. I wanna change everything. Don't be surprised, Gemini, if you look around, you look at your closet, you look at your house, you look at your car, you look at whatever, and you're not in the mood to just change every fucking thing. Now, it may not be feasible to change every fucking thing in one week, Gemini, but there's going to be a lot of things that you're going to want to change. Do you know why? Let's see if I can do this with one hand. <laughs> because this is the authentic self. Gemini, you've been acting as someone else for far too long. You've been putting on this mask, that mask, this, that, and the other for far too long. Because of that, you have lost track of your actual self. You have lost track of your authentic you in there. This is why you are restless as fuck lately. This is why you can't get comfortable. This is why you can't get why well, you can't move forward, Gemini, because you've lost track of who you are. You've lost track of how many damn masks are on your face and you've lost track of all of the things that make you, you, Gemini. Now, here's the thing. This is gonna be a week of hardcore realizations, Gemini, that you have been wearing too many masks for too many other people. There's good and bad with this. There's good in that you need that realization, Gemini. You need it. You need to start stripping the masks off. The bad is this. This is the covenant, the contract. This is a karmic contract. Now, here's the thing, Gemini. You have this karmic contract with you. Your soul has this karmic contract with yourself. It doesn't have to do with anybody else. It doesn't have to do, I have cat hair all over my mouth now. Thanks a lot, Vlad. It doesn't have to do with any deal you've made with anybody, any being, anything at all. This is you, Gemini. This is something you have to deal with in your life right now. And apparently it is this week. You need this reset, Gemini. It may be a hard reset. Okay? Know that it may be the week, Gemini, that you look at the relationship, the job, whatever it is you've been in for a very, very long time. And you go, you know what? I don't want to do this anymore. This isn't me. I've been doing this for so long because so-and-so thinks I need to do it. So Gemini, don't be surprised if this is the week that things change drastically. And for those of you guys that have Geminis in your life, know that this may be a week that suddenly they do five 180s. They might do 10 360s. You don't know what they're going to do because they have things that they have to take care of. Okay. It's going to be a little bit of a rough week, Gemini. I'm not going to lie. But it's going to be a fantastic week in that the rough is you taking off all of these different masks. You being all of these other people that everybody was telling you you were supposed to be. That's rough. Because we get so used to being those people. We get so used to having those masks on. So I get it. Okay? But it's going to be great. And the fact that this is a karmic contract with yourself that you're fulfilling this week. Okay? Plus, you got Vlad playing with my earrings during your reading. So there you go. Stones for Geminis. <sighs> blue appetite. 100% blue appetite. That is a stone that is attuned to the future. It's also very calming. I'm just saying. Blue appetite. Um, the other one I'm going to say is blue sandstone, blue sunstone. Um, that is the super glittery, crazy man-made stone, but it's a manifestation stone. Okay. He's a mess. Aren't you? All right, Geminis. Let's, let's see if, um, Vlad is, um, Vlad is a Pisces, like a Pisces Aries cusp, if I remember right. Yeah. See, now that I'm not doing anything, now he just wants to sit here and purr. With his weird little feety footses. Sir, I'm going to have to put you down. Okay. 
I love hymns. I love hymns. <sighs> He's a mess. He's gotten kicked out of my room the last two nights. I usually sleep with my door open. He's got kicked out of my room to the point I shut the fucking door. And so he's been pouting both mornings. But last night he wouldn't stay off of my feet. And the night before he wouldn't stay off of my dresser. You got an eye booger. So yeah, he got kicked out. He got kicked out. Mwah. Yeah. Sucks because he's being super sweet right now. He is probably one of the weirdest cats. I'm just gonna tattle on him a little bit and then we'll get back to the, we'll get back to the readings. Um, he is one of the weirdest cats. He likes water. He will get in the shower. He will, like, I have to put a towel at the bottom of the door because he can get under my bathroom door. This fucker will get in the fucking shower. Um, he loves having his feet played with and he loves having his eyes rubbed. Like that's what he's happy about right now is that I'm rubbing his face and his eyes. And he is just letting it happen. And purring away. Yeah. And we're pretty sure he's gonna have golden eyes. So I'm not, I'm not sorry. Yeah, I'm not sorry. Yeah, I'm not sorry. I love him. So I'm gonna put you down, okay? So I gotta finish doing my things, all right? I kissed you on the face, I kissed you on the face. All right, I know, I know, I know. Oh, he makes me feel so bad. <laughs> he makes me feel so bad. He'll be back up in my lap in a minute, I promise. All right, <sighs> my sweet little cancer babies, where's all my wonderful Sweet little cancers. Um, I'm trying to pull cards for y'all cancers. I feel like I got cat hair all over me. Um, and I keep getting like 90 anchor cards. What the fuck, cancers? Apparently this is kind of a week where you're all over the place. How much you wanna bet? Okay. Prove me wrong. That one fell out on top of this, so now I'm gonna have to try to turn him over like that. <laughs> Cancers. Cancers, I cannot with y'all. I can't, I can't with you. You know how I was just shuffling and that card just came out on top of the anchor card and I said, oh, show me up, will ya? But I also said that this week was gonna be like one of those very indecisive, weird weeks, Cancers. First of all, there's a four in all of these cards, so four is a big number this week. Um, but y'all start off with Osiris, which is responsibility, acquisition, etc. cetera. Um, Cancers, you're going to be taking a hardcore look at all the responsibilities that you've taken on this week. And just like the other two cardinal signs, you're going to be looking around like, um, I'm not sure about this. So, Cancers, don't be surprised if you look around at a situation that you got yourself in and you go, the fuck am I doing here? Why did I take this job? Why am I dating this person? Why this, why this, why this? Cancers, I'm just letting you know. This is a week of reflection for you and you're going to be looking at stuff and you're going to really hardcore be that. That's going to be what you're hearing. You can't make this shit up. Y'all are going to have all the sirens going off in your head like, why? Why did I do this? Why did I do this? Now, here's the thing, Cancer. I'm going to explain to you why you do a lot of the things you do because underneath that crabby shell, you're squishy and you like to be comfortable. You like to be comfortable, Cancers. So I'm gonna bet, I'm gonna bet my booty. Okay, not all of it. I'm gonna bet a little tiny bit of my left booty cheek because it's a little lopsided. Anyway, I digress. But I'm gonna bet you just a little bit, Cancers, that a lot of you guys are gonna look around at one of the following three things. Your job, your relationship, or something that has to do with a friendship. Not family, friendship. Okay, and here's what you're gonna look around and say, because this is gonna be something that you walked back into. 
cancers. Either you went back to a job or you went back to a position. You went back to somebody that you were dating. You went back to a friend who was being super abusive. This is the week that you're going to look around and you're going to be like, what the fuck am I doing here? Why did I become your friend again? Why did I take you back? Why did I walk back to this job? You're going to be looking at those things, cancers. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. I guarantee you. And here's what's funny. Because remember when I said that you can't make this shit up and I was laughing really hard? The card that you guys flipped out on top of here, I shit you not, is the disowned self. This is why I said that you're going to be, because like it landed on top of this like this. Cancers, y'all are going to be hardcore looking at all of the different responsibilities that you've taken on lately. These are newer things, okay? This is not something that's been around for a long time. So if you've been married to somebody for 20 years and you suddenly, ow, see, I'm regretting getting a cat right now. I'm looking around going, why did I get a fucking cat? He's in my lap, clawing at the bottom of my fingers, and he just caught my thumb and it fucking hurt. That's exactly what you're going to do this week, Cancers, is you're going to look around and you're going to be like, why in the fuck did I do this? Why am I doing this? And you're going to feel very disconnected and very disowned and like that, like a cat is clawing at your guts because you don't know what's going on. But here's the thing, cancers. Let me get this little shit off my lap because he is biting my elbows now. Do you need to tell the cancers all about the things? Cancers, as you're feeling super, super disorganized, disowned outside of the world, this weekend, you're going to be all about a new beginning, Cancer. Sir, I'm going to need you to not do that. No. No. Just like kicking the cat off your lap, Cancers, you need a new beginning. You need a new beginning. So this weekend, Cancers, because this week you're going to be hardcore looking at all the stuff that you got yourself into. This weekend... There's going to be a lot of change. There's going to be a lot of shifts. And there's going to be something awesome that comes and falls in your lap on Saturday and Sunday. Sunday for sure, Cancers. And it may just be an epiphany. It may be that. You got to love it. It may be that you watch some new movie or new show that you've never seen. And there's something that pops up in that show that gives you this epiphany. Or you may win the lottery. I don't know. But here's the thing, Cancer. This weekend, you're going to see where you have to shift and change. Now, with a lot of this stuff, with this disowned shit, as you're looking at all of the uh, all of the crazy things that you got yourself back into, Cancer, I don't want you to get mad at you. I don't want you to get mad at you, Cancers. I know you're going to, but I don't want you to get mad at yourself. Y'all are squishy. Y'all are squishy. You are creatures of habit. And so you like to be comfortable. You just want everybody to be happy. Yourself included. But a lot of times, cancers, you put everybody else before yourself. So you went back to that job, to that relationship, to that friendship, whatever, to make everybody else happy. Cancers, it's time for you to be happy. Okay, so I don't want you to get mad at yourself. I don't want you to beat the shit out of yourselves. I know you're going to anyway because you're a fucking cancer, but I don't want you to be super upset at you. Okay, and here's what I want you to remember. When you have to walk away from this situation, when you have to make the decision this weekend that that, that is not for you, that job, that person, that friend, etc., that that is not for you, I want you to think about this. I want you to think of it in this way. You needed to try that one more time. You needed to see if it was you. You needed to see if there was something else you could have done to fix that relationship, that job, that friendship, Cancer, okay? You can walk away now knowing that you did everything you were supposed to do, that you did everything you could, Cancer, Okay, please, please take this new beginning and run with it, Cancer. 
Let this be the time that you don't go back to that friendship, that you don't go back to that relationship, that you don't go back to that same abusive boss. Okay, Cancers, I love you. I love you. I have a weakness for you, little crabby shits. I love you. Don't beat yourself up, okay? You needed to know. You needed to know, and now you know. All right? So stones for Cancers. Petrified wood, if you've got it. If not actual wood, you need something to help ground you. I'm also going to say obsidian. Um, you need something that's very protective on multiple fronts this week, Cancers, because when you decide to hit that reset button, when you decide to say, you know what, I don't want to work here anymore, I don't want to be in this relationship anymore, I can't be your friend anymore, when you decide to do that this weekend, you're going to need the protection. Just saying what I'm saying, Cancers. But you need something to ground yourself. In fact, Cancers, if you have a friend that's an earth sign, you need to spend time with them this week. Not if it's one of those three situations that I mentioned. Spend time outside. Spend time grounding yourself this week, Cancers. Okay? You got this. You got this. I promise. Okay? So Vlad got up on the table and he saw that I saw him on the table and he knew that I was going to get the spray bottle. I'm trying to train him that he can't be on the table or the counters. And he's hard-headed. He's now behind my computer. Get down. Go on, Vlad. I love him. We're going to tussle. We're going to tussle. Get down. He broke my keyboard yesterday. Sir, I don't really want to go and get the um, spray bottle. No. What the fuck, man? Why are you doing this? Why are you being a toddler? He's reaching around the keyboard and around my light to get my jewelry that's right there. <laughs> Sir. Mm, that wasn't nice. That wasn't nice. We don't bite our mommy. Hey. We don't bite me. What the fuck, man? I know you didn't like the Pisces reading, but you don't got to bite me over it. That's not nice. I know, but it's not. Like having a fucking toddler all over again. <laughs> oh, Leos. This has been the weirdest Zodiac read. This has been the weirdest Zodiac reads. All right, Leos. Okay. Throw in some cards at me. Okay. <laughs> He's a mess, man. He's a mess. I saw that, Pisces. We do what we want when we want attention. Yeah, I know you do. I know you do. <laughs> Woo. Okay, Leos. That was a lot of cards it took me to get through this last one. I will say this. I'm going to read them the way they fell. You had one that fell over here, and we're going to read it first because it fell right side up. Are you ready, Leos? And you know what? Just seeing this first card, this is like completely on track for one of my kiddos. Ready, Leos? This is the lost compass and getting back to integrity. Leos, I don't know what shift happened. I don't know what shift is happening this week within you, but there is something that you've been doing. You, you've been doing. I don't think it's like a job or a relationship. It's just something within you that you know you've 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 kind of slid off a little bit. You've gotten off the off the wagon on being really really hardcore your authentic self. You've kind of slid off the wagon a little bit on I don't know, following through, doing what you said you were going to do. You've been sliding off the wagon on being who you want to be. Leo's. You guys I know you Leos, y'all dream so fucking big. When y'all set a goal, it's not just like, 
oh yeah, next week I want to make sure that I go and hang out with my friends. No, y'all make a big goal of, you know, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to get this cat off my lap, no matter if it kills me or not. I'm going to do all of these things. Y'all make these massive, huge fucking goals. There is no little about a Leo. There is no little goal with a Leo. Leo, this is the week where you get back to you. You get back to your integrity. You get back to that path that... He's going to make me pause what I'm doing and deal with him. He was grabbing my phone at this point and trying to pull my phone off the counter. I love this cat. I really love this cat. I really love this cat. Leos, there is nothing small about you. And this is the week where you are getting back to it. I can't wait to see these cards. Ready? Dudes, you can't make this up. This is the Lady of Masks. This right here is all about reclaiming who you are. I fucking love this card. Even though her head shape is a little odd, this is all about you reclaiming you. A, the colors are the same, and B, this literally is talking about the same exact thing. I drew this card before this card flung out. Leos, this is the week you reclaim you. This is the week that you move forward. He is biting my elbow. This is the week that you get on with everything, Leos. I can't wait to see this other one. And then I can't wait to get him off my lap. Ready? This is the dream thief. This is the refusal of the call. Notice the colors here, Leos. These are really dark, vibrant yellows, oranges, pinks, reds. This is not a week of you sitting still, Leos. This is not a week of you sitting back and not doing shit. Leos, this is a week of go, 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 go. If y'all have a Leo in your life, just know that they are not gonna fucking sit still for one iota. There is no, uh-uh. There is no downtime for Leos this week. Just like there is no downtime for Vlad in my lap clawing the shit out of me. Leos, what I love about this is that this is the week where you tell everybody that had been pulling you off of your path that you no longer want to do those things. This is the week where Vlad lets go of my pants. This is the week where you allow yourself to get back to integrity, where you tell all the people that have been pulling you off your path to 100% fuck all the way off. This is where you get back to you. And I think this is utterly fantastic, Leos, because when you guys set your mind to anything, there is no stopping you. 100% no stopping you. And I fucking love this. Both my kids are Leos, and I love this for them. I love this for them. I'm just saying, Leos, this is your fucking week. This is a lot of action. There's no sitting still. There's no pausing. There's a lot of threes here, 13 and 35. That's three. Three, 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 three. Perfect balance, Leos. I love that you're reclaiming yourself. I love that you're reclaiming yourself, Leos. Stones for Leos. I'm also going to say Lapis because y'all need to remember how fucking magnificent you are. It's very rare that a Leo forgets how magnificent they are, but you have. For some reason, you have lately. Lapis. The other, let's see, I almost said card. The other stone, I'm going to say obsidian or jet. Preferably jet, but jet can be a little bit hard to find sometimes. Um, yeah, we're going to go jet, obsidian if you can't find jet. Okay. I don't know what to do with him at this point. Every time I put him down, he climbs back up on my lap. And to be honest, at this point, my legs are tired of him climbing on me. They're tired. He launches himself from this. There's a box, a big tall box right here underneath this table. This table is really tall. And he's got his whole little kitty set up on there. This cat is fucking spoiled. So he's got his little, his little place where he hangs out. He's got a little kitty bed. He's got his little food and water and everything and he jumps on my lap 
from the box. So thankfully he's not jumping from the ground, but yeah, my lap, my lap hurts at this point. Sir. I love him. He's a mess and a fucking half. I need to do these last ones, Vlad. And I can't shuffle cars while I'm holding you, buddy. You can't. See, and then he does this, and it makes me feel bad. Because he's being so sweet. Yeah, he, he's still little. He's still little. They want to see your crazy toe beans. Yeah. So he has six toes on each foot. He has all the crazy toe beans. All the crazy toe beans. So yeah. And he bites. <laughs> Man. <laughs> he didn't bite hard but he just went Ugh. oh I see the tail y'all see the tail down there I see the tail yawnery shit yeah this is gonna be a night where I have to kick him out of my uh, thing too yeah yeah look at that tail I'm fixing to get it here in just a minute how much y'all wanna bet Buddy, I gotta put you down, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Alright, sweetie. I gotta put you down, okay? He's like melted. I don't even know how he's comfortable. I don't know how he's comfortable. Yeah, he's purring. All right. I'm going to put you down, okay? Because the Virgos and the Libras and the Scorpios and the Sagittariuses would like their cards pulled. Okay. Once I pull y'all's cards, I'm going to take about a five-minute break so I can run the bathroom. Then we're going to do all the, we're going to do the Reiki. We're going to do the Norse card reads, yeah? Actually, you know what we might do? I may just start the live over. So that way, when I download this one, it's not five hours long. It may actually be what we do. All right, I love this. Virgos were on it. Virgos were on it. Ready, Virgos? Yes? Yes? Okay. Interesting. Virgos, y'all also start off with Osiris, which is commitment, responsibility, acquisition. This is what the Cancers had, but yours is completely different than the Cancers. Um, Virgos, y'all are fixing to step into something massive and new this week. Y'all are fixing to step onto a new branch of your path. Sometimes we get branches in our path where our main path goes like this and we get a little branch that comes out and comes back in because we needed to learn something, right? We needed to get a certification. We needed to have a lesson. We Whatever it is, we needed to find something or somebody. That's what this week is for you, Virgos. Consider it like a side quest. But Virgos, this is acquisition. And that's what we're going to talk about first is acquisition because the reason I talked about you getting something that wasn't on your path this right here is the unmarked trail. This is revelation. In other words, Virgos, there is something fucking badass, utterly fantastic that is coming your way this week. I would not be surprised if you go after it, like you get that little sniff in the air like blood in the water to a shark and you pinpoint, the eyes glass over, your Virgo self, your obsessive Virgo self goes after it. I know damn well that's exactly what's fixing to happen, Virgos. The thing I love about this and the reason that I said this is a branch on your path and this is not just something random that's popping up is because this right here is the fate card, Virgos. You can't get out of it. So if there's something weird that pops up this week and you try repeatedly to not do it, to not be around that person, to not go there, to not do this, whatever, guess what? They're going to keep coming back around. All of the things are going to keep 
fucking happening because it is faded that you need to do this and I need to get this cat off my lap again. <laughs> He's biting my elbow and I can't. I can't. Because it doesn't hurt, but it tickles and it's the weirdest feeling. Anyway, Virgos. Whatever this new side quest is that you've got to undertake this week, undertake it. Whatever this amazing thing is that falls in your lap that feels too good to be true, it probably is, but still, you need to explore it. There's going to be a lot of things that pop up, Virgos, that you're going to make sure you do. The universe is not going to let you say no as much as you want to say no. You secretly say yes because it's fated that this is what's going to happen. I know that saying all of that stuff, you Virgos are like, look, I don't, I don't want to do that though. Like, I don't want to do that because telling an earth sign that they are going to do something is a surefire way for them not to do it. <laughs> but here's the thing, Virgos. The side quest, this side branch path, whatever that's fixing to pop up this week, it's important. It's important. If it wasn't important, y'all wouldn't have the fucking fate card. There would be the options card here or something that would be like, well, you could or you couldn't take it. I'm gonna leave it up to you. No. If it wasn't important to where you're supposed to be, this card wouldn't have shown up. If there wasn't a revelation card here about you having this new acquisition, that fate card wouldn't have shown up. So even if this thing goes down in all of the flames, Virgos, you need this revelation. You need this to happen. And you need to walk this path. Okay? Okay? <sighs> Virgos, it's going to be a very, very interesting week. And I'm going to say this too. If you all have a Virgo in your life, just know that they may be a little bit distracted this week. They may seem really self-absorbed. Now, Virgos, I'm going to say something and you're not allowed to get mad at me only because I've known more than a few of your Virgos. Y'all get super, super self-absorbed when you are laser focused on a goal. I don't think you do it on purpose. I really don't because y'all are one of those earth signs that when you get focused, you get horse blinders. There is nothing else in the universe except for what it is you're going for. So if you have a Virgo in your life this week, just know that they're going to seem self-absorbed. They're going to seem very distant, etc. because they're fucking labor, laser focused. They're laser focused on this little side quest right here. Okay. And that's just fine. Virgos. It's just fine. It's who you are. We love you for it. Stones for Virgos. I'm going to say garden quartz. Garden quartz is for enlightenment. Garden quartz. Um, I'm also... I try to give you guys like easier to find stones because I know some of y'all are just starting on your path, but um, I'm also going to say selenite. I feel like with you going down this new little side quest, there's a lot of things that you need to do that you need to clear out so this can snowball like it needs to snowball. Okay, so garden quartz, selenite. Vlad, come on, come here. Yeah, we're definitely going to take a break here in a minute because I'm going to have to go put him in the room with Kay. Thank you, thank you, Bells. Because he's about to turn my surge protector off. Not that it matters because my phone won't go off, but my lights, everything will go off. Like, he's pushing every Capricorn button I have. Now he's, he's learned to click the mouse. Sir, come here. Come on. Come here. pushing my patience. You're pushing my patience, man. We're about to tussle, you and me. Just now remembered, I can literally text my kid. What the hell? He is literally in my water. Get a cat, they said. It'd be fun, they said. He's so cute, they said. He has all these little tootsies, they said. <sighs> <sighs> I 
Libras. Save me, save me, Libras. Thank you, baby. He is all over me. My lap is torn up. Where is he? Um, down underneath there somewhere. Here, I'll hand him to you. I'm hungry. What would you like to eat, baby? Meat and vegetables. Meat and vegetables. Okay. All right. Libras, Libras, Libras. Ready? Yes? Yes? Ooh, we. Okay. Okay. Lots of divine wording here. What you been doing, Libras? What you been doing? What you been manifesting? Because y'all start off with Hathor, which is meditation communication and culture like i said i don't believe in coincidences because y'all also have the cosmic womb which is the divine feminine and then you have the galactic mushroom which is the divine matrix communication divine divine apparently libras y'all have been asking for a sign apparently libras y'all have been asking for a sign from your spirit team from deities that are supposed to be work, you're supposed to be working with, from the universe, anything. You Libras have been asking for a fucking sign. I don't remember which sign it was last week of Sagittarius that I was like, guess what? This is your sign. Libras, that's you this week. That's you this week. This deity right here is all about communication and culture and meditation and connecting to other realms. Then you have fucking two cards that have the word divine in them, the divine feminine, the divine matrix, Libras. I, I don't know how, how much more clear this could be. I don't know how much more clear this could be, Libras. Y'all have been asking for a sign? Here it is. Y'all have been asking for the universe, whoever, whatever, to tell you, hey, hey, I'm listening. With my squeaky chair. This is it. Look. You can't make this shit up. They agree with me. Libras, I have a feeling that the signs have been in your face for a little bit. I have a feeling that you keep asking for signs because you're... I don't think you're ignoring the other ones. I think they're just poof, either right over your head or you see it and you're like, but, but is that really a sign? Yes, it's a fucking sign, Libras. I know you Libras love the balance. I love the Libras that love the balance. But Libras, there's no balance right now. This is you. This is the sign. You need to move forward. The answer is yes. Go, 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 go. There is no pause. There is no stopping. There is no none of that. Like, I don't know, I don't know how else I can say it, Libras. If you don't say, hey, okay, this is the sign I've been asking for. If you don't acknowledge all of those other signs that have been sent your way, Libras, after a while, they quit trying. You know how everybody, every single one of you guys, not just Libras, are going to understand this. But when you realize that you got kind of cut off from some things and you're like, you know, I don't know why I got cut off. I don't know why. I don't know why. Yes, you do. You started ignoring all the signs. You started ignoring all the signs. Libras, I want you to repeat after me. Ready? Nothing is a coincidence. Nothing is a coincidence. This is my sign. Okay, Libras, this is your sign. Nothing is a coincidence. Libras, I'm only going to give you one stone this week. And if you don't have the stone, you're getting, you're not getting a gold star. Clear quartz. The clearer, the better. Because you need to be able to amplify these signs. You need to be able to amplify all of the messages that are coming in. You don't need anything standing in the way. Clear quartz. 
Have it on you at all times this week, Libras. Okay? All of it. All times this week. Y'all, the further you get down your spiritual path, the more you're going to realize that there are no such things as coincidences. There are not. At the time, it may seem like a coincidence. And when you scroll back through in your memory after something amazing happens or something terrible happens, you're going to realize all of the signs were there. All of the signs were there. There is no such thing as a coincidence. Where's my Scorpios? Where's my Scorpios? Uh -uh, Scorpios, I am not doing three cards. Scorpios. Oh, y'all want to be a little spicy, huh? We, we have spicy Scorpios. We have spicy Scorpios. Yeah. Is that was that what I just is that what I just saw? No. No, we just have normal Scorpios. <laughs> y'all are just spicy anyway. Scorpios, y'all start off with Arthur, which is championship, nobility, and self-realization. Oh, I know why we had some kind of spicy Scorpios. Um I'm just going to do it. We're just going to rip the band-aid off. Then you guys also have deep quiet, which is meditation and stillness. And then you have the crossing, which is an initiation. So guess what, Scorpios? Please, please don't shoot the messenger. But it is it is a, a shadow work week. It is a self-realization week. It is a week of quiet. It's a week of meditation. It's a week of stillness. I don't really think it's a week of like pause and stagnation, but it is going to be a week, Scorpios, where you guys just, you just don't want to hang out. You just don't want to do things. You don't want to be an adult. You don't want to do the things. You don't want to go hang out with your friends. Maybe you had a little too much friend hanging out with this weekend, but whatever it is, Scorpios, you just, you don't want, you don't want to. You just don't want to. Here's the thing. We all need weeks like this, Scorpios. And I know that you guys have also been going crazy insane here lately. This is a week, Scorpios, where I'm going to advise you that if you want to spend time at home, if you don't want to get out and go do all the things with your friends or whatever, now listen here. Do not skip somebody's graduation. I am not giving you a blanket approval for that. Do not skip someone's graduation. That means a lot to them, and you better fucking take your ass to their graduation, Scorpios, okay? This is not me giving you a pass to not go to a graduation. Don't you do it, okay? But I am giving you a pass, and here is me as your spiritual advisor saying that if you need a pass for things, I got you, okay? Because, Scorpios, this is the week that you, you just kind of need to be you. You're going through some shit. It's in your brain. It's a shadow work week. You're working through some shit. I would not be surprised if you got re-triggered over some stuff this weekend and you're like, ooh, damn, I really need to probably, I need to probably revisit that in my shadow work. It's that kind of week. It is that kind of week, Scorpios, okay? So as your spiritual advisor, I am advising you that you need alone time this week, Scorpios. You need to do things for you. You need to relax. You need to set your meditation spot back up. If it's not already, and if you don't have one, this is the week you better set one up, Scorpios, because you need to have your spot that's just for you with your self-realization. And yeah, you need to do a little shadow work this week, Scorpios. I know every one of you is like, bitch, quit saying shadow work. But y'all chose the cards, Scorpios, not me. This is a bit of an initiation week, Scorpios. Just know it's going to be tough mentally. So if y'all have friends that are Scorpios, kids that are Scorpios, significant others, whatever, um, maybe slide them some food, some chocolate, some wine, some whatever it is that they like. Make sure they eat. Make sure they shower. Maybe, maybe just, maybe just check on your Scorpios this week, okay? Because they're deep in the Scorpio noggin. And um, yeah, yeah check on your Scorpios this week. Okay. Um, stones for Scorpios. 
I'm gonna say rose quartz and labradorite. Rose quartz because when y'all get really far in your own head, y'all also get really hard on yourself. And not only do y'all need some self-love this week, Scorpios, but y'all also need that lab for protection on your spiritual path, okay? I love you, Scorpios. I love you. All right, my sweet little Sagittarius, it says. Took me a second to get your cards there, Sagittarius, or to get your anchor card there. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. So after all of my reads and stuff this evening, I will make sure I will sit up and it takes me, I timed myself last week and I did nothing but chop these up off of the main video to make all of the little videos. Um, Y'all, it takes me two and a half hours to cut these and put them up. It's a lot, but I kind of like it better. What do you guys think? Like it's way more work, but I kind of like it better where I can post them all everywhere. I can post them all on TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram. Because the thing is, like, some people miss it, especially tomorrow, since I'm not going to be on at my normal time. Um, people are going to miss the Zodiac read for the week. And sometimes, I understand, y'all don't want to go and do, you know, scroll through all of the, the YouTube and stuff. But this way, I can also post it on Instagram. And, and yeah. Yeah. So. So, yeah. I think that that's probably what we're going to do. And that way you guys also know you can go to my page, you can find yours, and bam. Yeah. All right, Sagittarius. Mm, okay. Sagittarius, this is also kind of a week of reflection for you as well, but this is a different type of reflection. Y'all have the Morrigan, which is fate it's opposition it's an anticipation then you also have the galactic mushroom the divine matrix and you have the whale song card which is resonating now when i said that this is a different week of introspection for you what this is is you seeing how everything in your universe is tied together this is a week of you continually seeing oh my god blah 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 is attached to blah 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 this is attached to this. This is attached to this. This is a week of you connecting the dots, okay? This is 100% a week of you connecting the dots, Sagittarius. There's going to be a lot of those weird-ass epiphanies that just plunk you right in the forehead, and you're like, how the fuck did I not see this before? Don't beat yourself up for that, Sagittarius, because it wasn't meant for you to see it before. It was meant for you to see it this week. So that's going to be my warning to you, Sagittarius, is just like the cancers, Okay. There's no way you could have seen all of these things, okay? This week, Sagittarius, is going to be a week where it's just one thing after another, like bang, 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 bang. You continually see how every fucking thing is connected to every fucking thing else. Epiphany after epiphany after epiphany, Sagittarius. There's no way that you could have seen all of these things. There's just not. I don't care how good you are at divination. I don't care how long you've been practicing. There is no way you could have seen all of these things because if you needed to see them in the moment, you would have. You didn't because you need to see them this week, Sagittarius. You need to connect the dots this week, Sagittarius. Okay? So don't beat yourself up. How did I not see that? Because you didn't need to. You needed to see it this week. You needed to connect the dots this week, Sagittarius. And I want you to remember too, Sagittarius, nothing is a coincidence, not a goddamn thing, okay? So when things happen this week, when you're seeing all of the things be interconnected, you're like, that's a little odd because it's not a coincidence, okay? Just like the Libras, I want you to say it with me. Say it with me, Sagittarius, ready? Nothing is a coincidence. Nothing is a coincidence, period. Trust your gut. 100% Sagittarius. I don't know why I feel like I need to reiterate this. Like, I feel like I need to tell you to trust your gut. Again and again and again and again and again. 
Sagittarius, this is this is kind of the low level danger, danger, Will Robinson, me telling you to trust your gut this week. There is a situation, a person, a place. If y'all are driving to work and you're going your normal way and you're like, you know what? I, I don't need to go this way. Don't fucking go that way, Sagittarius. If there's somebody that, that pops up and you start talking to them and every internal sensor is going off, don't fucking talk to them, okay? Sagittarius, I'm not shitting. I'm not playing. I'm not, I, I wouldn't shit you. You're my favorite turd, okay? I'm not playing, Sagittarius. And this goes for friends, family, etc. too. If you have somebody that you're like, everything in your gut is telling you that you need to let them know like, hey, you know, maybe you shouldn't go to lunch on Thursday where you were going to lunch. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. Sagittarius, you are plugged in. You are fucking connected. Trust your gut. Okay? Okay? Even if nothing happens... The fact that you warned that person or the fact that you went a different way. I'm just saying what I'm saying, Sagittarius. I expect to see every one of my Sagittarius friends back here safe next Sunday and Monday. Yes? Capiche? I don't like that feeling, Sagittarius. Um, Y'all are super plugged in, super connected this week. Okay? Okay? Stones for Sagittarius. Um, clear quartz. Clear quartz and blue appetite. Um, blue appetite is attuned to the future. It will also help you with prophetic visions and so on. Um, clear quartz will amplify that. And clear quartz also helps you see very clearly. So blue appetite, clear quartz. If y'all don't have blue appetite already in your little repertoire of stones, that is, I don't care what sign you are, that is your next purchase, period. Okay? In fact, I'll tell you what. I got to order stones this week. I will make sure I order a fuck ton of blue appetite. A metric fuck ton of blue appetite. Okay? So I got you. If you don't have a piece, I know, like right now, I have some small tumbles and I have some larger freeform chunks, but um, I'll make sure I get a whole bunch of blue appetite. Okay? Um, I am going to step away for just a second and go pee and then I'm going to come back and then we're going to do some Reiki and then we're going to do some Norse reads and all of those things and all of those things. Um, wonder if, um, no, I thought I could just pause the live for a minute. I was looking to see how I do that. Ooh, I can. All right. I'm going to pause five minutes. Well, less than five minutes. I'm going to run and go pee. I'm going to come right back and, um, we're on it. We're on it. Okay. So go get your water. Go get all set up, because when I come back, we're going to do some Reiki. Yes? The answer is yes. 